experts, according to a high-level intelligence brief seen by the nation, are made up of three politicians from Nairobi, two politicians from Central Kenya, one politician from Rift Valley, a businessman from Rift Valley, a local NGO, and an international one. The suspects are accused of doing various things, including financing some protesters, mobilizing youth from slum areas, and giving them cash handouts as they're directing them to infiltrate the peaceful protests and turn them violent. They're also accused of providing logistical support, such as transporting the hired individuals to demonstrate epicenters, such as the central business districts of major cities. The first politician from Nairobi is accused of mobilizing and hiring goons from Kibera, Madare, and Babadogo areas. The second politician from the capital city has allegedly been holding night meetings to plan for the demonstrations. The Rift Valley-based counterpart has been fingered for allegedly meeting youth at his house in Nairobi to oil the anti-government protests. The brief, seen by the nation, had names of the key suspects, which we have, however, withheld for legal reasons. The security brief also cites reasons for the alleged abductions that have been ongoing as the failure to obtain hard evidence of the suspects' logistical and financial connection to the protesters. Further, they are seeking to infiltrate the planning and coordination of the protests. But so far, they have to yield solid, actionable leads. This is according to interviews with multiple people familiar with the investigations. A special team of officers drawn from NIS and Directorate of Criminal Investigations has been fingered for effecting the brazen abductions. Find additional details on these developments on tomorrow's Daily Nation and on nation.africa. <clears throat> Hello, guys. Uh, with the ongoing uh, protests, and uh, I have seen that the government is not ready to listen because, uh, you know, Ruto is one of the biggest conmans that we have ever had in this country. Yeah, because. Uh, he tells us that he needs to meet the leaders of the Gen Z's. The Gen Z's are telling him that you don't have a leader. The leader is you because he is the president of Kenya and the Gen Z's are Kenyan citizens. And so I think uh, the president has a big ego that cannot allow him to back down to anything. So him and his people I think the Chungwas and the Sudis and those kind, you can name them, the Sakajas of this of our days. They have hired goons to try and infiltrate the uh, protests. Okay, And so what you are witnessing here is that um, the protest started and they will not stop. These kids are jobless. And most of the people's jobs were closed because of overtaxation. You understand? And so we have a, an idle population. You see, what Ruto failed with his goons is that, uh, with his M M M pigs, uh, is that he focused on taking more money from the citizens. He did not focus on helping, putting better policies like low taxation so that business could thrive and then we could collect more revenue you see he focused on taking everything that these guys have toiled for and now these people they have closed their shops they have closed their businesses because you cannot tell me if you are paying rent of a shop you have to pay rent. you are living in the city it's not your home you are paying rent for the shop you are paying rent where you stay you are you have to eat you have to this transport and then the government again comes and over tax the only thing you have to do is to close down your shop to close down your business because you can no longer sustain whatever you're collecting there the government takes it all so this guy has made a lot of people very jobless and they are very idle so the protest will continue you understand and he has he he took he brought military in you see military and uh what i saw was that the military are not ready to shoot anybody the military in fact if people will be in millions and marching to state house i think 
Roto is trying to play with some fire here because uh, he doesn't understand what how military should work. Military is not for the civilians. Military is protect our, is to protect our borders or external attack. So this guy he sent police to Haiti and then he took military to the streets. We see tanks in Eldoret in Nairobi where we see tanks, uh, guys. This president, I think, he cannot last up to 2027. I think he will he will not rule until 2027 because of his. He want to prove a point that he doesn't back down. He deploys military. He lies a lot, and uh, he has wrong advisors. His ministries, all of them, have failed. He has spoiled the education system. He has spoiled the health sector. And because he chose incompetent ministers and he knew they will not do anything tangible for this country. What I see ahead is that the protests will continue and the gangs that he has created today, they were paid on Tuesday. They were paid by Sakaja and uh, I don't know Sakaja under instructions from the president himself. You use gangs and these gangs, you, you, the president has sent our policemen to Haiti to fight gangs on the street. Those gangs, we don't know how they were created there. <clears throat> they did not just come from nowhere. There's a reason why there's a lot of gangs in the streets of Haiti. So once he has tried to put gangs in the streets of Nairobi, in the streets of Mombasa, in the streets of Eldoret, I see this trend of gangs, they will grow bigger. And uncontrollable and they will even start having guns i'm telling you guys so the country will be very uncontrollable and ruto might even be forced to go to exile i think he has a friend in uganda who's called him seven because what i know everything is trying it can backfire on him if you create gangs Today you paid them, tomorrow they will regroup themselves, they'll even, the, the money that they collected in Quick Mart or in anywhere was too much sweet. So they will see, uh, this thing, it, in fact it works. We can now just get guns and start terrorizing everywhere, start ruling, you know. So we will have guns all over this country. You see this kind of president that we have, he doesn't give a damn, he doesn't care. He want to prove a point and wanting dear Mr. Ruto, if you want to prove a point, this wanting to prove a point will eat you up because you have created gangs. Now these gangs will not go away because tomorrow there's protests and the gangsters now will not need your authority or your payment to go to the street. They will know they can do it by themselves because now they tried to do it. We saw police, they were not checking where, what gangs were doing. But when they hear protesters saying Ruto must go, they shoot at those protesters. But when the gangs with the rungus are looting their quick mat, no one is stopped. The police will not look even at them. That's how we know that they are state-sponsored people. And what we want to tell you is that, Mr. Ruto, these people that you have created the gangs, they will work side by side. With the protesters and this thing will become bigger and bigger and bigger parallel and you will not control you will have to seek for police for haiti to help you with the police to cap this kind of scenario the way the other president of haiti asked you to send me the police to his country it is the same way bro that you are going to ask for help and you will have no otherwise other than to resign I'm telling you the reality. It will have been better for you to listen to the people. But now you want to play games. Eh? And the people are more wiser now. Because Wajinga Walisha Kenya. I think this president will not last up to 2027. According to the way he is, he is working. Guys. So we are going to have uh, gangs all over the country. And they will grow bigger. The protest will continue because life is very unbearable for everybody and no one sees any future in this country. And then um, what I see, the usage of military was a big mistake for them. 
because uh, not the whole military is on the side of the government. You should understand that. And anything can happen. Anything can happen, guys. Eh? Taking military to the streets. Anything can happen to you, Mr. Ruto, and your cronies. Be careful. Do not use military inside the, the, the country. The p kids in the city are not bandits. They are not external attackers who are attacking the country. They are Kenyan citizens. Do not use the military. Continue using the military, and I think you will not last to 2027. This guy is also on a revenge mission because I've seen the people who have been tweeting and posting Ruto must go and shouting Ruto must go are being arraigned in court for saying that word. So this guy is vengeful. He killed. He will kill a lot of people, guys. So I think when people think of that, they feel that they cannot relent. They would rather die now than live like fugitives in this country. Because if this thing stops now, this president is vengeful. He will deal with everybody. He will crack down and my arm and kill all, almost everybody that was against him yeah please guys we need to just uh, work together and make sure that this country works better in the next time if you are having an, any chance to elect do not go the tribal way and his all MPs are still arrogant up to now very arrogant the likes of Didmas Baraza, the likes of uh, Kimani Chungwa, the likes of uh, Ndindi Nyoro, the likes of Muhammad Ali. These people are very arrogant and they are just something else, guys. I don't know why these people are elected. I don't understand that. I, I, I'm not sure of what was in the minds of the electorate when they were electing these kind of leaders. I do not understand, guys. This is very hilarious. And um, let's hope that when we get any chance for elections again, we will not choose based on emotions, we will not choose leaders based on religion, we will not choose leaders based on tribe, we will choose leaders whom we feel that they can work for this country, for the better future of this country, because this country has a big potential, bigger potential, guys. We have the biggest potential in the whole world. But now you see, our people are going outside to work. Why? We have potential. We have everything that we need. It is because of our brain, when you go to choose leaders, we choose leaders who are for their own benefit. And they go there, they amass wealth. When they live there, they are billionaires. You understand? So if we never change this narrative, we will continue to crowd in this country and there is nothing that will happen. They will continue to kill us there is nothing that will happen they will continue to steal there's nothing that will happen we need to be serious guys so just wake up and think of your country and believe that everything will happen in the right direction the kids who are being born now the kids who are fighting now they will have a brighter future i think Roto will not be able to kill all of these kids huh? because uh, as protests continue he says he doesn't have money. So as they continue, uh, the police will run out of bullets. The police will also run out of the, the this, what is this, uh, the tear gas. They will run out of everything. And when they run out of everything, it's either they go to the military and take the bombs and the jets to start fighting the citizens. I think that's how he, he will have to do, because those are the ones that will have been remaining. Because he's now he's saying he doesn't have money to run the country. If you don't have money to build schools, if you don't have money to pay teachers, if you don't have money to pay doctors, when your tear gas runs out, Mr. Ruto, do not go and bring any new tear gas. Face the people now. That money for tear gas will have been used to build schools, to do something tangible for the country. But I know you will make sure that you go and get them so that you can continue killing our people, uh, which is not is unacceptable. So I believe 
uh, this president may not last up to 2027 because he doesn't want to listen. He's still playing politics, tactics, like hiring goons. Now the goons that he created on Tuesday will continue, guys, in all cities. You are major cities, Eldoret, Nakuru, Kisumu, Mombasa, and Nairobi. If you are in those cities, guys, try to see how you can relocate because I'm telling you the reality. The trend that R Ruto and company started on Tuesday by hiring goons in the city, in the two cities, Mombasa and Nairobi, is going to spread like wildfire across the whole country. And we are no longer safe. He thought that he's trying to infiltrate the Gen Z movement. But now he has created another thing that has germinated. It's called goons. This one now they will not need their authority. They will now be doing their thing the way they want. Because there is no job. You know, you cannot create something and you know these citizens are idle. These goons, there will be more, guys. And the protest will continue because life is unbearable. So we believe that this president who is not listening, he must go. Ruto must go. In case you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe. I'm not a. Uh, uh, I have always been a, a, a against wrong leadership. I have been always advocating for better leadership. So I'm not. It's not that I'm against Ruto. I'm against his wrong policies, his wrong choice of ministers, his wrong way of leading this country into the downfall. Because now in East Africa, I think Kenya is number last. So we need to wake up and see. Please, guys, put tribalism aside, put religion aside, put nepotism aside. Let us fight this war. Let us fight corruption. Let us flush out all these corrupt leaders and make sure that Kenya is better for everyone. Subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed. Here we don't joke with anybody. We speak facts the way they are and we fear nobody so guys thank you so much for your support and see you in the next video hello guys welcome to this channel again and uh, today we're gonna look up uh, on who is the leader of the gen z's want to find out who is their leader so we have had a lot of incidents recently and a lot of people have been killed a lot of youngsters have been killed and the president he called on upon that the gen z's should elect a leader but uh, constitutionally the leader of the gen z's is the president himself he is the president of the republic of kenya the gen z's are the citizens of the republic of kenya and therefore he is the president of the Gen Z's. So when he, it is ridiculous to hear him say that uh, he's calling upon the Gen Z's to appoint someone, their leader. Which leader is Gen, the Gen Z's? Uh, they, are, they are just demanding the government to do the right things. Because this is a rogue government with the rogue MPs, with the rogue poly, uh, senators, with the rogue pres a rogue president, a rogue speaker, and the police are the rogue policemen. So the Gen Z's are asking, you are our leader. We want you to do things correct so that we can have a bright future ahead. Because these kids have come from school, they see no any future that lies ahead of them. That's why they are calling on their leader, who is the president of the Republic of Kenya, to come out clean and try to sort out things. Because uh, <clears throat> this president, uh, I've seen the people diverting their energy towards ministers. The, minist the ministers have no problem. The problem of this country now is root or not the ministers because uh, he appointed incompetent people. He knew that they are very incompetent, they cannot perform. But he went ahead and chose them to be ministers to for the government. So I think uh, the kids are asking their leader, 
Tajensis leader who is President Ruto should they are asking him to do the correct things so that they can have a, a country ahead. So in short, the leader of the Gen Z's is none other than William Kipchirchir Samoy Ruto. So it is ridiculous to see him tell them to appoint someone as their leader. Thank you guys. And in case you are watching this channel for the first time, just consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Really appreciate your support. See you in the next video.